Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a whole house deep clean. And when I say this was much needed, I mean this was much needed. We have a two month old and three little ones at home and this house gets super messy super fast. So go ahead and grab a snack, cuddle up on the couch and let's go ahead and clean my house. All right, we are gonna start off in my bedroom and you guys, I wish I could tell you that I set this up to look this way so I could have a more extreme before and after, but honestly, this is the truth and generally it looks worse than this. This is actually not that bad. Um, we just have a two month old sleeping in our room and so things are just chaotic at night. Things get thrown everywhere as you can see and there's always laundry to be done. So let's go ahead and tidy up this space. I always love to start my day off by making the bed. Even with that two month old sleeping in our room, I have to have it. It just resets things, gets me ready for the day. So let me know in the comments below, are you guys team bed maker or eh, I'm just gonna sleep in it again. As you can see, my nightstand area is kind of a grab and dump area. Um, I've got my notebooks, I've got my breastfeeding supplies and everything I need for Harvey in the middle of the night. That's our two month old. He is the sweetest little thing, but he spits up like crazy and always needs his bum change. And so I have this little setup here. I've got the diapers and the wipes on top. I love the Rascal and Friends. Those are really nice clean diaper. And then underneath, you can see I've got some burp cloths because this boy spits up like no other. Does anyone else have a baby that spits up like crazy? Because he's no joke. And as you can see, lots of diapers <laughs> get tossed and thrown in the middle of the night. Again, this is not as bad as it normally is. Normally there's like breast pads thrown about and diapers and wipes everywhere. Uh, so yeah, I just like to change this out and refresh the room. With Harvey being our roommate for the foreseeable future, we had to make some room for him in our dresser, which is no big deal, but unfortunately it has made our closet a disaster. And I am purposely avoiding showing you guys because it's it's really an eyesore. But if you guys would be interested in seeing that video, me decluttering and organizing our closet, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below because it desperately needs to be done. This is my favorite dusting mitt from Norwex. I love this thing, I've been using it for years. Super easy to use, makes cleaning a breeze. All you have to do is obviously put it on your hand and then you rub your hands together to get the static electricity going and that's what the dust clings to. Makes it super easy to dust. My kids even love using this, which is a bonus. My all-time favorite multi-purpose cleaner is this Thieves from Young Living. 
It is fantastic and I literally use this on every single surface in my house. I use it on my mirrors, I use it on my floors, you'll see me later. I use it on my countertops, my toilets, you guys get it, I use it. It's a all in one. Also, can we just like talk about this before and after of this mirror? I did not realize how dirty this thing was until I wiped it. And then these cloths I'm using are also from Norwex. Normally you use them without a cleaner, you just use water, but I've had them for so long that they're a little bit old and so now I use them with my Thieves Cleaner. And then the polishing cloth just finishes everything off so nicely. fully aware how haphazard my bed skirt is. I'm actually ordering a new one tonight. This one was on here and it is ripped and we were just waiting to buy a new one and after doing this video I was like okay I gotta pull that plug. So here is that before just one more time to refresh your memories of just how chaotic this room truly was. Honestly you guys doing this room felt so therapeutic. This after just breathed life back into me. Unfortunately, my room looks exactly like this again because again, newborn, but ah, breath of fresh air, beautiful. Next up is my oldest son Emmett's room. He was at camp this week along with my other daughter Molly. And so they, you know, played in the morning and then they quickly ran out the door. So I'm tidying up for him. But normally at bedtime, we have them reset their own rooms to get them started off fresh in the day. I actually have plans to completely swap this room around. We're gonna keep the paint colors, but change some furniture around, hang some different things. So if you are interested in a room makeover, make sure you are subscribed because I've got lots of good things coming. If you guys have followed me for a while, you might recognize these shelves. They used to be styled to perfection when they were my daughter's in her nursery. I had so much fun styling them. Of course, now they are my son's and so he displays all his favorite little things, which can kind of make it look a little bit messy, which is, you know, it's fine. I've got to let go. But here I am just trying to clean it up a little bit, but I honestly don't know how to style kids' things, <laughs> truthfully. Tell me if it's possible to clean your house without having a million piles everywhere. I swear I'll clean out one room and then just dump all that stuff somewhere else and then clean up that mess and move the mess somewhere else and 
you guys get it. So anyone else do that or is that just me? The last room I have to clean upstairs, not as bad. This is my daughter's room. Just had to put some laundry away, lots of Lego, always Lego, and some puzzles. My daughter loves puzzles. She's only three, but this is all her. She's better at it than I am, I swear. have a love-hate relationship with stuffed animals. Honestly, they were my favorite things as a kid and my children obviously are the same, but I just feel like they're my go-to present at Christmas and birthdays and then when it's time to declutter and go through toys, I'm always like, why do we have so many stuffed animals? I don't know, but they're just so cute. As you can probably guess from my outfit change, this is now the next day. Generally how I clean my house is I will do one floor at a time. I do have four kids at home and we homeschool so it's hard to find time to do everything in one day. So I just it makes it a lot easier on all of us if I'll just spend one day cleaning all the upstairs and the next day cleaning all of the downstairs. So today we are starting out in the front entryway just cleaning up. That's our fancy little mat there that we use for when it's snowing. It's just an old towel. As you can tell, Rosalie thoroughly enjoyed her time being the oldest kid at home while the bigger kids were at camp, and no shame in my mom game, I totally bribed her with mangoes to help me clean up her mess because she will do anything for a mango. Also, use those couch cushions for my uh, anchor management, works like a charm.
different day, different dusting mitt. This is the same dusting mitt as before, just obviously a different one, so not the same, but it does the same job, just a different color. I love these things. No, I did not have to bribe Rosie to clean my coffee table. She asked on her own. She loves taking the Thieves cleaner. Her and Molly love going around the house and just spraying and cleaning. And I love that I don't have to worry. There are no harsh chemicals in this, no carcinogenic ingredients. You guys, oh my gosh, fragrances are so bad for you. A lot of the cleaners that are on the market today are just you know, really harmful to our health. So I love that I know that my kids can use this, I can use this, and my kids are totally fine and safe with it. to clean the glass on that sliding glass door and I realized the back room needed a quick tidy up and when I say quick I mean quick because we have a skunk living under that little sun porch which is fantastic you know great aroma back there so we make our way in and out as quick as possible kind of stinks because our cat likes to lay out there but we can't do that right now with the skunk so awesome but anyways watch this before and after guys again look at how grimy this window is and then a little bit of spray a little bit of wiping and some elbow grease and bam like it's just so satisfying You guys may have realized that my cat is in a lot of these shots and that's because she is worse than my children you guys I swear every time I clean a surface she's like oh you clean that for me thank you let me jump right on it it's ridiculous and even worse when I do like painting projects she's like what's going on what's happening it's kind of annoying but also kind of cute The 
the last room we have to clean up is the kitchen. The kitchen is my favorite one to see clean. I think it's because it's the one that's usually the most messiest. There's always dishes being done. There's something drying, something that needs to be unloaded. And so seeing this space completely clean, just, it gives me life. And I say that in all honesty because I don't get out much. So this makes me happy. Also, yes, our dishwasher is older than dirt, but it works fantastic because old things were built to last. New things, not so much. So as much as I would love it to look nicer and cuter, I'm keeping it for now because it gets the job done. For those of you who might be wondering, this is the Norwex mop. Clearly I love their products because they work really well. They actually have silver embedded into all of their cloths and their cleaning products. So just like this mop, there's silver in there and that has antimicrobial properties, kills all the yucky stuff. I again am using Thieves Cleaner with this because yes, I have had this mop head for longer than I'm supposed to. So I do use Thieves as well to help clean. Although this floor tile is ugly, ugly, ugly. And so you can never tell when it's clean, it's when it's dirty. It's kind of a plus having so many children, but it's also kind of annoying for someone like me who loves to see a good before and after. So you guys are just gonna have to trust me that I swear this thing got clean. This completes my whole house clean tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It gave you some motivation to get to a space that maybe you've been avoiding, to that laundry pile that's been sitting there for a while. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to see more. I've got lots of makeovers, DIY house stuff coming. So if you'd like that kind of content, again, make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell notification. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Are you here to help me clean? Hey. Eh?